Get the latest on what's going on this earnings season, meets, beats, and more in Zach's Earnings Scorecard. Well, if you're keeping score during any earnings season, the financial sector is one place that you surely want to be in touch with. And Eric Dutram, who is our editor of Zach's Surprise Trader, is, in fact, in touch with some financial stocks that you're going to profile for us now. This week of April the 25th, we have uh, Chicago Board Options Exchange reporting. That's right. we got a couple exchanges that are reporting uh, over the next couple days. Um, this is kind of the, the trend in the financial world. We had the, some of the big banks last couple weeks. Now it's the exchange's turn. Top 15% industry rank here, so expectations are going to be a bit high. CBOE, um, they do a lot of work with this volatility index stuff. Yeah, yeah. Market's obviously been very volatile, so investors might be expecting a bit more profits out of them. Uh, you know, coming into this report. If we look to the recent chart here, we can see that expectations have been kind of muted lately for the, uh, the consensus number. We can see a, a kind of a, a strange trend here for uh, some of the recent consensus numbers. Uh, things dipped down a bit and then they came back uh, a bit higher. But the, rec the most recent trend has been slightly negative for uh, CBOE. This is a little bit of a concern for investors, but shares have held up rather nicely here in that low 60 range. So an, uh, an okay performer going into the earnings report. Not much to worry about though. Earnings ESP of zero, so at least the uh, all the most recent estimates, they've been uh, a bit time ago, and it's his X rank number three. So not, not a whole lot of catalysts on the upside or the downside. It's really gonna be a question of volatility and if that you know really reigns in the marketplace going into the summer. That's really gonna benefit CBOE. All right, what about uh, CME Group? So CME is a, another exchange here based in Chicago as well, actually right across the river from us. Yep. But um, the thing to watch for the, these guys is their, um, their interest rate uh, options and uh, the futures and also their energy futures. And these are two areas of the market that have been very volatile and it you know, promotes a lot more trading activity. Both these things are great news for CME. Uh, the company is a kind of a star when it comes to beating an earnings season. We can see their last five or six reports here have all been positive. The stock has been pretty choppy here. We can see some of these, these moves up and down. Um, but I, I think this is going to be another area where the outlook is going to be very important. I think fortunately for CME, a lot of their business does deal with that interest rate uh, segment. And if we do see some more action out of the Fed, either you know to raise rates or even possibly lower rates, that's going to be great news. It's going to uh, create more trading opportunities for CME, and that's really where they make a lot of their money. So. Uh, this current quarter might not be anything spectacular, but I think the longer term outlook for CME is very positive. I do own it in my IRA portfolio. Um, we are looking at a uh, earnings of $1.15 a share for CME when they report on Thursday. Zach's ranked number three, mm -hmm. so I think it's really more of a longer term play in this company as well. Thursday is April the 28th, by the way. Uh, then finally, NASDAQ. Yeah, NASDAQ is you know more on the, uh, the stock side. Uh, the shares have been kind of mixed here at least when you look further back, uh, we can see that the, the consensus numbers were really sliding here the last couple of years. But you know we've seen you know, a much better trend in the last year and a half or so. We can see that the, uh, the consensus estimates have been rising a bit. Uh, if you do look at the, the recent earnings surprise numbers, we can see that the company hasn't missed since 2013. So it definitely has a good track record when it comes to earnings season. Uh, this is also a stock that is a Zacks rank number three and a 0% uh, a in terms of earnings ESB. So once again, a sort of mixed earnings season anticipated for NASDAQ, but given their track record, it's probably going to be a beat. Um, this is another area where the outlook is really going to be key. NASDAQ obviously focuses a bit more on the tech and healthcare world. So if these areas of the market start to struggle, it could hurt shares, but this is going to be a longer term issue to worry about for NASDAQ stock. So. Uh, you know, it's really a question of what type of investment investors want in this, in this space. It does have a nice industry rank, so we are anticipating some solid results for companies across the board here. All right, don't forget, you can get the lowdown on other companies reporting during this earnings season on Zacks.com. That's our website. So if you're not there, get on over to the homepage, and there's where you start to link to it all. With Eric, I'm Terry Ruffalo.